Bienvenidos and welcome you creatures of the night. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to add fangs to your Vroid model. And we're going to be doing that in Unity. Previously, Vroid Studio had an option to add fangs, but when you would export, the fangs would not stick with your character. They wouldn't be there. Uh, as of version 13, they have, for some reason, added these skin fangs. And they will export with the model, but that's not what most people are looking for. Most people are looking for the traditional fangs, whether it be for a monster or a vampire or some other creature that would have some sharp teeth and not just a traditional human type of teeth. So we're going to go ahead and load up Unity. You can use any version of Unity as long as it is version 2019.4. Any subversion of that, any release of that, as long as it's 2019.4, you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and create a new 3D project, and we're just going to go ahead and name it something that will be relevant to what we're working on today. I'm going to name it Fangs, and I'm going to hit Create. From here, we're going to go up to Assets, and we're going to load in, and we're going to import a package, and we're going to look for a custom package known as UniVRM. Of course, all the links for this will be down in the description if you need it. Once we have that loaded, we're going to go up to the VRM and we are going to import our model. I'm going to find Crossplate here and load it up. And you can just hit save on the next one. And once your model is loaded up, you can drag and drop it over on the left side. That'll place it into your scene here. And we're just going to zoom in and get a nice little look in. Yep, that's the model that we want. And of course, you got all these other fun functions over on the side of the screen here, but today we are going to be looking at blend shapes. So if you go down to the bottom here, you find your blend shapes, and usually about the third one in, it's going to say blend shape dot asset down at the bottom. That's the one we're looking for. And it's going to have all your different blend shapes over here on the right side. And if you hit the little tree for face, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath that. We absolutely want to hit all of the vowel sounds. You may have other expressions with an open mouth. But anything that has an open mouth, whether it's the expressions or the vowels or what have you, scroll down and find the fung. Uh, it is the misspelling of fang. Um, but you can see down there in the little preview window the different fangs that come through. Fang 2 is a bunch of sharp teeth. Fang 1 is going to be traditional kind of vampire teeth. And then uh, fang 3 is just teeth right in the middle of the mouth. So this time we're going to go with fang 1. And I'm going to crank up the Fang 1 and the Fang 1 up sliders. And I'm just going to do that for every expression where my mouth is open. Um, even a little bit, just to make sure I've got everything covered. You don't have to, but any time that the teeth would be exposed, that's where you definitely want to crank up those sliders. And again, relevant to whatever teeth you want to use, whether it's all the sharp teeth or just the fangs or what have you. So go through those, crank them up and make sure that you don't miss any of your expressions or anything because it'd be a little strange and off-putting if you're talking and suddenly your teeth are just vanishing in and out. So make sure you hit them all. And once you're all done with that, you're going to want to select your character again on the left side there. Go up and choose Export from the VRM dropdown. I'm going to switch my language to English. Make sure you've got all the information filled out if it is needed or if you want to and hit Export. Of course, save it someplace that you can find it, and then we are going to load this up into our tracking software to test and make sure it's working. I'm going to be using VC Face for this, but of course you could use VMagic Mirror or any other tracking software that you'd like to use. And now that we've got VC Face loaded up, I'm going to go ahead and add in our new avatar. There he is. And we're going to hit start, and we're just going to do some testing, and we're just going to do some vowel sounds and make sure that the teeth are coming through through every expression every vowel and that's all there is to it pretty easy pretty straightforward and I hope this video is helpful for you so if it was please give me a thumbs up if not give me a thumbs down if you want to see more like this please subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video see ya